Hi guys, uh, this is Paul. Uh, welcome to our very first tutorial in Revit Architecture 2014. This will be the very first of a series of uh, tutorials to look at um, how to use this very amazing software. It is uh, a software which has revolutionized um, the way architects design and the way buildings are put together and the construction information uh, drawn together between various professionals uh, using one basic model. Now let's look at uh, the user interface of uh, the 2014 version which I assume you would have installed uh, by now on uh, your system. The user interface, if you, if once you're in the user interface you come up on this uh, particular this screen in front of you. The starting with the top you probably see the use uh, the quick access toolbar up there top left now the quick access toolbar has got very many uh, common features with the uh, windows application uh, currently in use and then it's got some specific ones uh, for uh, revit itself when i say what do i mean by that uh, for, for windows you've got things like your save commands your uh, do your undo uh, commands over there and then obviously things like uh, for revit uh, your uh, 3D views, uh, texts, you probably get them in there as well. To the right hand side, you see uh, an information center uh, to do with uh, Autodex, Autodesk uh, products. Now, to the extreme left, where you've got the symbol R for Revit, is uh, the information center, sorry, is the uh, application menu. Now, if you click on the arrow, or if you click on it, it gives you various options. The very first one there is New. Now, on the New, you see some uh, further options like Project, Family, Conceptual Mass, Title Block, Annotation Symbol. The main difference, the project is uh, your building itself. That is the building you are trying to construct within Revit itself. It is uh, like your hospital, your school, um, the house that you're trying to build. The family is really, I mean, it's really components that you can use to uh, make up uh, buildings. Uh, when you decide to put buildings uh, by looking at the parts, the place to start is a family, Revit family. The next one uh, below that is the conceptual mass. Uh, conceptual mass, normally for many architects, you probably, you have a site and then you've got uh, the context, which obviously is um, surrounding buildings. You may want to look at uh, how to mass your particular design. And the place to start then is a conceptual mass, in which you try various um, things or various options in terms of masses, and then see which one fits the best before you begin to look at uh, your walls or your uh, roofs or your uh, uh, floors. Now under that you've got the title block and uh, the annotation uh, symbol uh, both relate to the working uh, drawings or the output drawings uh, later on. Uh, the rest of the uh, application menu uh, many of you will uh, recognize uh, like open save save as those are normal uh, windows application uh, menu and printing and then close. Now if we move on from the application menu, um, actually let's let's go into new uh, project if you click on that it will give you various options um, if you click on the arrow to the right you've got a construction template, architectural template, structural template and mechanical template. We are interested in the architectural template if you click on that uh, create a new project, architectural template, and then now uh, click on OK. We're talking about left click, and uh, that should give you the current uh, window. Now, just to clarify, there are many termi uh, on the terminology for. Revit. Some people call things uh, different uh, things. Um, I can only tell you what uh, uh, what I will refer to them as in this tutorial. Now, 
when I say ribbon, I mean this area up here. Now the ribbon consists of architecture, structure, systems, inserts, annotate, analyze, massing and site, uh, collaborate, view, manage and modify. Uh, within each uh, two menu, you've got like architecture, you've got subdivisions within them, uh, you've got build to look at um, all the different components that you use to uh, start to build your project or design your project, like walls, doors, wi um, windows, components, columns, roof, ceilings, floor, curtain systems, curtain grid and mullions. The next one there is a circulation like your stairs, your ramps and railing, models, model lines and text, uh, the room for area for things like area openings, openings in walls, uh, datum, you've got uh, grid on the floor plan, uh, the unhighlighted one there is uh, levels. Uh, you, it's not highlighted because obviously you look at it from the elevation. If you've set up your levels, you would have given say floor to floor heights. And then last one is the working plane on um, on the object you're working on. Now, we on to the left hand side of um, your uh, window. You've got the properties uh, bar. When most of you would have started um, your uh, Revit software, you will probably find that uh, under the properties uh, uh, palette uh, would have been your project browser is normally uh, attached around this area. But I, what my advice to students have always been is uh, to move this project browser to here. Uh, what it does is as you begin to populate the, uh, uh, you, as you begin to populate your screen and begin to build your project, you probably find that the space that you have for these two uh, very important Windows. I mean, it's absolutely. It's really too small. Um, the, uh, it will it will serve you best if you moved uh, the project browser to the right. Uh, you can do that now while we're talking. Uh, just click on it and then uh, just drag it and put it uh, to the side there. And then that way we've got um, the same uh, screen in front of us. Uh, the project browser you probably see as we begin to work through projects will fill up. Um, it's really is where you see all your builds. This is where. Revit becomes BIM. Um, most people, when they have uh, AutoCAD, you probably find that uh, they do have um, to build different files, maybe for the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor, third floor. But with Revit, it does it all for you. It is all arranged in there. You can have um, your level zero is your ground floor. Level one could be your first floor, and so on and so forth. You can put as many as you want. Or as many or as little as you want. Your ceiling plans you can have there. 3D views, elevations will be in there. In fact, if I click uh, the plus sign there, you see the east, north, uh, south, and west elevation. More of that in a minute. Um, your schedules will come in there. Your sheets. It's uh, so it's a quite an important uh, window. Now, if we go back again uh, to the central bits, the white central bits, this is really where you begin to do your construction. This is where most of the information goes. You can call it your drawing board, you can call it your construction space, whatever you fancy. Well, this is where most of the action in Revit happens. Now, there are four, four prominent um, elevation markers there. Uh, we were just talking about that before. Really, these elevation markers relate to these, um, if you look at the project browser, uh, you see east, north, uh, south and west. That is the north uh, elevation, that is the east, that is the south, and, uh, and that is the west. So they correspond. Do not delete them uh, at all because if you delete them, it deletes uh, the information uh, within the project browser. Now, there is to scroll, you can scroll in and out, use the central uh, mouse wheel to scroll in and scroll out. Uh, you can uh, depress your central mouse wheel and then drag uh, to move within uh, the uh, views um, uh, window. Really, uh, you can, but the project could be any size. Uh, it really depends on uh, what sort of computer hardware you've got and um, how much power it's got. You can virtually build anything you want within within it. There are two important uh, views within that, uh, which we will discuss uh, in a moment. 
there are two important uh, view uh, bars that relate to this view window. At the bottom left, you will see the uh, view control bar. Now, if you look at it, this is where starting from uh, the first one there, you probably see your scale. Uh, this was the scale in which you are going to be drawing at. The next one there, I mean, there are various uh, gadget, uh, little toolbars there that helps you to sort of uh, define uh, the views uh, within uh, your view, your your scheme. Um, like the first one there, I mean, it depends on that the the level of detail that you're looking at. Fine, medium, coarse. Um, second one there is your graphic display options, like uh, if you do want it as realistic, consistent colors, shaded, hidden lines, or a wireframe. Um, the next one there, I mean, uh, relates to whether you want the sun on or uh, the sun path, whether it's off or on, uh, the shadows, whether it's off or on, uh, the, to crop your view, um, the shadow region. Uh, to hide, you may want to hide uh, some elements temporarily, that is where to do it. Uh, reveal hidden elements if you want to bring things back. And temporary view properties. Really, it relates to how you sort of view uh, this space. We'll go through them as uh, we go through the course. The second important bar is up here. If you maybe sometimes you probably may prefer, okay, fine, not to use the mouse. I use the mouse myself, but uh, you can do the same function up here. Like uh, this is a 2D wheel. It gives you this wheel on the outer part is pan by clicking on it. And then moving your mouse, you just find you can still do the same thing. Move uh, the elements on the, your uh, view uh, window. If you uh, dr leave the, your left click and go right in to uh, zoom, click uh, left click on the zoom, and then move your mouse, you just find you can zoom in and zoom out as uh, you please. Um, to, to get rid of that, uh, press the X. There's a very important bar um, outside um, at the very bottom left called uh, the status bar. Normally, when uh, there is a command or you're looking at a particular element, it may be worth looking here sometimes to sort of uh, get a clue on uh, what to do, perhaps uh, a clue on uh, what on how to manipulate uh, or a, a command that uh, may help you to do or to carry out um, this step regarding a particular element. But we will be looking at these as uh, we go. I think that is about all um, to talk about on uh, the user interface. Um, obviously, as we go through the course, you become more familiar with um, all the elements. Um, I don't think you should be discouraged at um, uh, this first hurdle. Uh, don't try cramming everything in. It will all be revealed as we begin to go and as we begin to use um, all the different elements of it. I've always say to, said to uh, students, uh, sometimes there are you, when you get an application like this, uh, from experience, it, there's it's not every single item or every single uh, tool that uh, you probably would need immediately to um, uh, to construct or put your uh, do your project. There are very specific ones um, that you could stay start uh, straight away on, and uh, you can very quickly begin to build and uh, to do your drawings and, pu and pull them out in drawing sheets. I've got, I've had students come into uh, the office, um, you know, secondary students, maybe even wanting to do uh, work experience and you very quickly introduce them to uh, the software and they can become very, very productive uh, very, very quickly. Uh, just by showing them the essential um, elements that they can use to populate or to uh, begin to do uh, a survey and, uh, put, and produce uh, uh, drawings in the office. So uh, what have we um, learned uh, today? We've uh, looked at uh, the quick access bars, which if I remind you again, is uh, over here at uh, the uh, top left. Your info center is up here your application menu for Revit, where you've got the Revit R, is um, at the very far top uh, left. Then uh, you've got your ribbon. We've talked about that. Architecture, structures, systems, inserts, annotates, etc. Uh, which contains all your uh, your um, toolbars, like architecture's got walls, doors, windows, 
Um, and then we talked about the properties palette. And then on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry, we talked about uh, the project browser. This is where Rev Revit is uh, as a Beam um, uh, software. You can see all the information pulled together. Then uh, we looked at uh, the views uh, window um, here. This is where most of the project or most of the job is done or constructed. Then we talked about within the views window, there are two basic elements. You've got uh, the view control bars at the bottom left. And then up here, you've got uh, the navigation bar and then your status bar. It's um, there. I think that is about it. Um, it's been a, it was a very, very, very uh, nice uh, bank holiday uh, weekend uh, in London, but everything is all changed. I've just looked outside. It is absolutely pouring with uh, rain. Uh, reminds me of singing in the rain for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um, thank you very much for listening uh, to this tutorial and uh, see you at uh, the next one.